wanted to start with programmability, but don't know where to start? Do you know what all resources exist within Cisco to help you start with your journey? Denise, thank you so much for joining us today. I really hope that we're able to kind of bring out the resources and, and all the content that we have available on our site. Um, how about you tell us something about, I know there's a few engineers that stopped by yesterday and we were talking about where do we start? What do you think is the best place to begin your journey on this? Yeah, I mean, on developer.cisco.com, we have our newly designed web page so that we try to lay things out right up at the front. You know, I think one of the first ones that's there is the Learning Labs. Learning Labs are self-paced tutorials. We have a ton of them. It covers a ton of different things like getting started with coding, how to set up your development environment, um, different things of the DNA Center, APIs, how to use, uh, what is it, Ansible, Terraform, a ton of different things, and they are self-paced, so you can actually do that at home. In our learning labs, uh, not all of them, but a good chunk of them have our new design, which came out for a little while, but it has its own built-in IDE and container, so you actually do not need to actually set that up on your own computer, and that has been so yeah. helpful, especially for the people getting yeah. started. Yeah. For our new users, that also means it's interactive, so you pull up your code and your instructions at the same time, you're able to follow through and actually code as you're watching the whole Learning Lab tutorial. Um, it's very user friendly, it's a new experience, and we actually would love your feedback on that as well. Um, apart from Learning Labs, we do also have a lot of different video series and yep. things. I know you're involved with yeah. a few. Um, and a lot of our dev advocates are doing a lot of different things for new users to get started. Just take that first step. Um, what are some of the things that you think people would be interested to watch? So myself and Mel Delgado, we do a video series called The Daily Stand-Up. The idea of the daily stand-up is to discuss different topics, whether it's more of a developer angle or a DevOps angle, because Mel comes from a DevOps perspective and I'm a software engineer. And we just discuss things because we've noticed that there's always this silo that happens with the engineers. Mm -hmm. And we want to show that if you just communicate, we're all the same. We yeah. all have the same end goal. And if we just talk to each other, we're going to just realize that Talking to each other will actually get things done faster and in a more efficient way. Yeah. So we cover lots of different topics. We covered, uh, did a whole automation journey, multiple series, uh, multiple episodes about that. And we're currently getting into Agile and talking about the different pieces of Agile for those who have not adopted Agile, or maybe they have, but they just don't understand it fully. Yeah. Um, you can find us on the uh, DevNet YouTube channel, and um, that is just one of them. The second one, Alex, Alex Stevenson on um, the community side does this series called DevOps Shop, and he just goes through various things. I think he did something on CML, and then he did something on linting, and so that's an awesome series. And then um, Adrian has a Twitch stream on CICD Pipeline. Yeah, so whether you're a new learner, you're just getting started, and you just wanna understand buzzwords like what is agile, what is DevOps. Um, I personally have been following your series quite a bit. Um, I know I had the privilege of, of recording with you earlier, mm -hmm. so it was, it was very interesting the way you both, Mel and yourself, bring out the perspective of, you know, it's a new person, but yet that communication, it's almost like team building, right? When yeah. you're kind of bringing the team together, mm -hmm. um, you know, what right hand talks to your left hand, that communication is essential everywhere, and I think that is something you guys make it very clear. It's easy to understand. I was I was able to follow it, and yeah. I'm an early learner. So for me to follow through and understand all the concepts that you were explaining, I think it's it's a, a wealth of knowledge over here. Um, I know Adrian's t Twitch stream is starting to get very popular. Yeah. Um, people have been posting questions. So if you have questions, even if you're a newbie, it's okay. Uh, post your questions, and I've actually seen them answer them live. Yeah. Uh, they'll either text, you know, put a text note on there or they would actually take it to a next episode and it becomes a topic for them to discuss in person. Um, so feel free to put your feedback in. Thank you so much, Denise. Um, I'm just hoping that our viewers are able to provide us more feedback. Yeah. Um, put your feedback and comments and let us know, even in this video, um, any other topics you would like to hear about, any other video series, any other content that you would like produced um, on developer.cisco.com. Thank you. Thank you.